Heavy rains and hail created a massive mess in some parts of the city Omaha Metro, Greater Nebraska. From the Nebraska Panhandle to the Missouri River, from the Sandhills to Kansas, massive storms tracked diagonally across the state, leveling crops, blowing out windows on cars and homes and leaving roofs and cars pitted. In the Omaha metro area, the hail traveled a fairly narrow, west-to-east path through the central part of the city, largely along Interstate 80, said Paul Johnson, Douglas County Emergency Management Director. The hail was generally one inch to a little larger in diameter, he said. His office didn't receive reports of significant damage, and, because of that, the office won't conduct a damage assessment survey. Rainfall totals in the metro area varied, but all came in under an inch, said Paul Fajman, meteorologist with the National Weather Service, 0.36 inches at Epley Airfield, 0.85 inches at the Millard Airport and 0.67 inches at the Council Bluffs Municipal Airport. In Valley, 1.11 inches of rain fell. The hail contributed to street and basement flooding in Omaha and other communities by filling and blocking sewer inlets. As a result, some videos of central Omaha showed rivers of water gushing down streets and pooling, lake-like, in low areas. And while the heart of the Omaha metro area sustained damage, parts of Nebraska farther west were much harder hit by hail. Buffalo County Emergency Management Director Darren Lewis said about 90% of Ravenna's 630 homes sustained roof damage and nearly half were pockmarked on their northwest sides. Home damage alone is likely to exceed $1.5 million, he said. Numerous vehicles also were damaged. For some farmers in central Nebraska this is at least their third hailstorm in less than a week, said Sarah Sivitz, an AG educator with the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Extension. And for some, the problem isn't just damage to crops. Equipment has been damaged, she said, and winds have tipped over center pivot irrigators, with the latter potentially posing season-long problems because of difficulties getting repairs. That's what's really sad, a lot of people just got their new roofs put on, he said. Because the storm was delivering baseball-size hail at 60 to 70 miles per hour, Adams County sounded its outdoor warning sirens, he said. 